we're back here with Gail King and Tony DeCopel. <laughs> celebrating wow. first year anniversary of CBS Mornings. You actually got to do something recently. Yeah. You got to be a sports reporter for uh, the afternoon because you interviewed Well, that's being cut. Oh, Serena. Serena on the court yes. after her first round win. Yes, yes, yes. At the US Open. Yes. Are you a tennis fan? Yes, yeah. So what was that like for you as a I've, tennis fan to be no, I've been going the greatest? To the, well, I've been going to the US Open for a very long time, and they called me about two weeks ago and said, we want to have the tennis people, not ESPN, because ESPN and CBS don't have a relationship. That's a different, okay. a different network. So the tennis people said, if Serena loses, we want to do something on, on the main court, because we're, we think she's going to be playing opening night. And then they called back and said, we want to celebrate her whether she wins or loses, which I think is terrific. Sure. It's a way to say thank you and we celebrate you. But I was so nervous that first day because I wanted her to win so badly, Stephen. You were caught on camera saying I was so nervous. But I was nervous for her. Oh, nervous for her? Yes, oh, I, I thought was... you were nervous. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I mean, I'm not saying I don't get nervous, but I wasn't nervous about that. It's just that I wanted it so badly for her. Do you get nervous? If I may take the mic for a question here, I don't. I get the sense that you are exactly who you are off camera, on camera. I see no change. Well, I well, I just I don't really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, even even if stuff doesn't go according to plan, I'm okay with saying, yeah. you know what, this isn't working out. We're going to take a break. We'll be mm -hmm. all right. I, I don't believe in trying to hide and make sure everything is going great when it's going, as my grandmother used to say. A hell in a handbasket. But I wanted it so badly for Serena. Yeah. So mm -hmm. all day long. Because, listen, you know, she didn't make it to the end, but when she made it that first night, that was great. Then the second time, and then by the third time, I go, do we dare to dream? Do we dare to dream? It didn't work out, but I hope she's holding her head high and feeling good because she changed the game for all of us on so many levels. <laughs> so many levels. And, Stephen, guys, she fought... She fought, she fought, she fought to the bitter end. Sure. So she did. I, yeah, she yeah. really did. So I believe that her next chapter in life is actually going to be even bigger, dare I say, than what she's accomplished in tennis. She wants to have another baby. We all like babies. <laughs> you know, she's she's in the business world. So I'm excited. Not a lot of cheers for babies. For some reason. <laughs> I know. We don't have a lot of babies in the audience. Not a morning show crowd. I, I yeah. know that was no. interesting. But all her babies? brothers and sisters, yeah. all her brothers and sisters don't like babies that much. I know. Yeah. I've I like heard them to that. be sent back. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Tony, no. you you know, do you get nervous? <laughs> Interviewing people? Uh, I don't get nervous don't. interviewing people, uh, but I'll there's never been a learning that. curve. No, you don't. In this, no, you know, I, there's been a learning curve here coming from from print. Uh, you know, I I got some big assignments uh, on location uh, when I first got this job. Uh, I mean, really big assignments. You know, Hillary Clinton. Uh, you know, J Lo, Harry Styles, um, Ben Stiller. You know, Michael Che. The list goes on and on. Uh, Steve Martin, Martin Short. And there was one particular uh, <laughs> interview, and I'm trying to think about how to tell the story without uh, being professional in, in the present while revealing my lack of professionalism <laughs> in the past. So bear with me. Uh, so we're on this one location yes. this with one of these big famous people. Uh, I know uh, this is what I cannot yeah, give reveal. Us initials. What did this person do for a living? Uh, I cannot. Yes. I cannot yes. uh, disclose Can you tell more. Me what the person did? I, you know, they were. They were. They were a big famous person. You understand? I need to get to the. <laughs> I know you want to skip ahead, but I'm, I'm trying to draw Julian it out Assange. here. This better be, yes, yes. This better be a good story, okay, Tony. Go ahead. Go yes. ahead go all right, ahead. all right. So, so next to the, I'm not going to call it a stage, but the place where this person does the thing that they do, there was a big tent. There was a big tent. Uh -huh. It was a man-sized tent, and it was tall, like a phone booth. Uh, so we and know I was, this person was a human. And being a, being, a, being a curious person, I was like, I'm going to unzip this and see what's inside. And I did that, and then I look inside, and there is a pot. There's like a chamber pot, like oh. a modern camping utensil. It's, it's a like place to... Like not a porta potty but like a pot? Like a, it's a porta potty It's like a camping thing. Sure. Uh, so it's a place to I pee. I do see why you're not giving this person It's name. a place to pee, right? Yeah. It's a pee tent. It was yes. a pee tent. So I think... Because they were on stage, okay? I think, okay... Stars, they're just like us. Sure. So I take a picture of the P tent and I post it to social media. We're supposed to do that, right? I mean, this is going to get all kinds of engagement. Sure, absolutely. Uh, I got a call like one second after the, <laughs> the, 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 the picture post uh -huh. from the PR people who I thought they were going to come through the skylight and kick the door, take the phone. It was like I had so nuclear bad. secrets. Like, yeah. I, it's like I had taken them home. Well, Bruce Springsteen um, was that mad at you. <laughs> 
And so the, the lesson, I think, uh, the lesson is, uh, you know, I teach, I teach my son Teddy. Everybody pees. I will soon teach uh, his little sister Eloise the same thing. But celebrities do not. They do not pee. No, they don't. They no, do, no, but they just no. don't want you to talk about it. No. They have you have you had any uh, honor yes. regrets? Any, I any mean, gaffes? You know, a long like time that? ago when I was a when I was a baby reporter, I was anchoring local news, and I was feeling very good because you're a weekend anchor slash reporter, and the newscast was wrapping up, and I'm sitting there very straight, going, you know, we'll all be black next weekend, and I was trying to say we'll all be back next weekend. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. We'll all be back next weekend, except I said we'll all be black next weekend. And then I was so mortified. I didn't. It, it just took me for a nanosecond because everybody went because oh, people are so afraid of race. I'm not afraid of race. So in that moment, I said, "Well, I'll still be black. The rest of these guys, <laughs> rest of these guys will be back. The rest of these guys will be back." Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gail, yeah, so lovely to see I'm you. I'm so glad to see Tony, you. Tony, thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, thank I, you know, for letting us come. Yeah, oh, we're very say, to be I give my best to Nate. I hope he feels better. Hey, you know, yeah. yeah, Nate is fine, by the way, because he tested negative today. Oh, uh, so know, he could have been. Here. No, no, no. Okay. No, a, no, no, but, no. No, no, I'm the athlete. I'm no. the athlete. <laughs> no, but with CBS protocol, they, they don't play with the COVID around yeah, you. You have to know. test negative. Uh, Two consecutive negative tests in I 48 know. hours. You know. I've been there. Yeah, you know. Been yeah, there me twice, too. Actually. Me too. You yeah. know how it goes. Sure. So otherwise, he would have been here of all the days for him to, to I, miss. I think he'll be back on the show Friday. So. I think, all right. I think he'll be, be back Monday. I love your show. Your, your show is our lead in, so we appreciate you. I You're welcome. You, you do know you make the eye opener a lot. Every single don't you? day. Do I, I don't make it every single day. Because oh. yeah, I check every single day, and I'm not there every single day. I'd say you four pay out of five. Check. You don't check. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd CBS Mornings airs weekdays at 7 a.m. It's Gail King and Tony DeCoppel, everybody. We'll be right back with one of the stars and cast the one.